A lot of God-given talent, that's for sure. And some guys become very good because of the hard work and determination. And some guys just get the basketball, and it seems like it's just innate ability. He's one of those innate ability kind of guys who just does what he wants on the court. Cardinal Hayes junior guard Shavar Newkirk isn't short on confidence to back up his natural talent. I played against top kids in the summer, so I believe I'm one of the top kids in my class. Pretty. He believes he's one of the best guards in the city, and doubters have him out to prove them wrong. When I play against other people, I want to take their spot. I want to be where they at. So, and people or critics think I'm not good enough, so I just take that to heart, and I play hard every time I step on the floor. Some people think he's overrated. Some people say, like, he's all hype. So I definitely think every game he plays with a chip on the shoulder, he tries to prove them wrong. And he has his team on his side. He just has like a sneakiness about him where he could catch you by surprise. He's not real big, he's just a thin kid. He just, just knows how to play. I think he's a, a first team all city guy. Uh, he's, as, he's as good as any of the guards that I've seen. So uh, he's, he's definitely in the argument. Very talented kid, very talented kid. Ask any high school player who they look up to, and you're likely to hear the names of LeBron James, Carmelo Anthony, and Kobe Bryant. But ask Newkirk. If I look up to somebody else, I'm not going to be the best I could be. So I look up to myself and try to play against myself when I'm playing. Off the court, Newkirk is just as confident and takes his academics just as seriously. You see him in the cafeteria doing his homework. Um, the teachers love him. Uh, his peers respect him. He's just such a, he's a laid back kid. Uh, you know, you don't hear him yell. You don't hear him, uh, you, don't, you wouldn't know he's there until the lights come on in the basketball game, then all of a sudden he, he realized it's time to go. Without an education, you can't, you can't succeed in life, so I take that to the, to the heart, and I do well in all my classes. Hopefully I'll be playing for a big-time college and then hopefully making money playing basketball. It just takes hard work. If I believe in it and put the effort in, it will happen. Brian Custer, SNY. Thank you. Meanwhile, St. Anthony is another one of the teams in the SMI Invitational, and legendary coach Bob Hurley's Friars are in the midst of a 79-game win streak, but not without the help of a changing of the guard. Here's a preview. Take a look. Off the court, I'm like, you know, a kind, laid-back guy, you know, like to smile. But when I get on the court, I just turn like, like a... Like just a beast. My goal is just to win it. So if I see something that that we need to do in order to win, uh, I'm gonna get on the teammate. I even get on myself at times. I'm gonna do whatever it takes for us to get the victory. 